notify everything that you do and say so that everything that you do and say is, has a constructive effect. That's the key. It's very difficult for people to understand that who are not used to it. And collectively, we're not used to it. We're not used to being constructive because we, want, we weren't trained or educated to be constructive. We're educated when we are given a little leeway, a, a little time to ourselves and whatnot, to do things that don't make sense. So we have become a very pitiful, stupid, and silly people, basically. We, we worship anything that's stupid. We worship anything that's silly. We gravitate toward anything that makes no sense at all. We go looking for each other in order to engage in things that don't make sense. So I, I spent about a quarter of this program saying we have to stop these things. But most people, when we even think about it, we say, stop what? Because we're not even aware of what we're doing. Just stop what you're doing. Just look at what you're doing and say, which one of these things really is something that doesn't need to be done? That's not progressive. Anywhere that I'm going, any time of day. That's the key. It's just little simple things. Simple things that we take for granted doesn't have anything to do with, with our lives. And we have to stop and think about everything that we do and pick out all the things that are non-constructive from the time we get up in the morning to the time we go to bed at night. I mean, the food that we eat and everything. Pick out everything that if you if you can't say look at it and say, now, this is constructive, then don't do it. That's the key. But when black people assemble and start talking about we got to do something about our plight, we always talk in slangs and uh, and and things like that. Uh, black power. I mean, and we stomp on the floor and we beat some drums and we jump up and down and we turn around in a circle and we think that somehow by magic, Eureka, all kinds of wonderful things are going to happen. And it doesn't work like that. It has to do with what you do each and every day as an individual person. This stuff about black people getting together and, you know, in unity, some type of magical unity that comes from black people when they stand shoulder to shoulder. We even use those terms. Well, black people, in order to get ahead, we got to stand shoulder to shoulder with each other. We were shoulder to shoulder on the slave ship. That's not a formula for anything, standing shoulder to shoulder. Black people need, as individuals, even when there are no other black people anywhere around within a thousand miles, have a code of behavior, things that you do, things that you don't do. And it's very simple. Look at what you're doing at any given moment during the day and ask yourself one question. This thing that I'm doing, is it constructive? or non-constructive, because there's no such thing as in between. It's either going to be one or the other. You're either doing something that makes sense, or you're doing something that doesn't make sense. That's putting it in simple terms. But when I say that to black people, I mean over and over again on the radio and whatnot, they say, what? That's so complicated. I mean, yeah, that ain't sense. no liberation. I mean, when are we going to get liberated? Uh, uh, you know, when are we going to get together? That's another term we use all the time. When are we going to get together? Get together and do what? Well, uh, come up with a plan. A plan to do what? Because a plan has to address the individual person and what that individual person does each and every minute of each and every day. That's it. It isn't anything else. But it's difficult collectively, for black people all over the world, really, to understand that simple principle. Mr. Because we are used to being herded like cows. Mm -hmm. And we think that we don't have power if black people are not really physically all in one place, shoulder to shoulder, with their arms around each other, singing come by ya. And we think that that is some kind of magic from the sky, well, money would just start falling out of the sky when we do that. That's what we actually think. 
Mr. When it Phillip, really comes down to what you do every day, I, I Mr. keep saying that over and over again, but it's a hard sell because we haven't tried it. That's why I believe it, because nothing else has worked. We, we, we have held hands like I don't know what. I mean, we're some of the biggest hand-holding people in the world. I mean, shaking hands, high-fiving, I mean, you know, we are hands, but we are not handsome. We're not handsome people. Handsome means handsome, as old folks used to say, handsome is as handsome does. We don't match our hands with our brains and do something hands-on other than to shake hands. We got more different kind of handshakes than anybody on earth. But handshaking won't get it. Head shaking won't get it. What will get it is a plan for each individual in every circumstance that you find yourself in. And everybody's in a circumstance each and every day wherever we happen to be. And you look around you wherever you happen to be and say, now, what is the most constructive thing that I can do? Even in a jail cell. And in the frame in the movie Shawshank Redemption, he said, well, I can't go anywhere. I'm in a jail cell. So I'm going to carve rocks. So in carving rocks, he found out a lot about rocks. And in finding out a lot about rocks, he found out that the penitentiary that he was in was made out of inferior material because it was made out of rocks. And that's how he worked his way through that wall with a rock hammer that he had read Morgan Freeman sneak into him. Took him 20 years to do it, but he had nothing but time because he had two life sentences. So he said, hey, I can tell him my way out of here. And the re reason I can do it is because I figured out by studying rocks right here in this cell, studying rock formations, about how I could get out of here and a time frame for doing so. Now, that could imply to every person on the planet, not just black people, but any people who are thinking. Everything starts with a thought. Okay. And you can always think wherever you are. 